Okay, so I wanted to get on here for a second to vent. And I figured I'll just do a YouTube video on it. I wanted to go live, but it wouldn't come up. So this is what I'm doing. Hopefully the phone will stay right there. So everybody was buying on pins and needles because Pat McGrath was coming out with the foundation. And I'll admit, I was too. So I already made up in my mind, okay, I'm going to get the foundation. It's no question about it. Regardless of the price, I'm going to get the foundation to support Pat McGrath. So here we are rolling into July 26th, which is the day the foundation released. And I signed up for early access. I believe I already had like email notifications for her anyway. But if you were signed up, you got early access to, um, excuse me, early access to purchasing the foundation powder, primer, etc. And she was also offering a a kit so you got the primer the foundation and the powder in your specific category of foundation so me and you also got a 10 percent off code which was hey terrific you get even more savings on top of the bundled savings so on july 26 i went to sephora and shade matched myself well try to as much as possible shoot I knew that was gonna happen to a shade so that way I could go online I could go on online and order it in a kit and have a pretty good idea of my shade versus guessing automatically online because who knows something might not even match me if I went in the store and matched it but I would have gotten a close enough color match so I did that left Sephora went and ordered the the kit so I'm excited. I'm like, oh, I can't wait to get it. Blah, blah, blah. So yesterday, my package comes. And I'm like, yay, it finally came. I get to try it out so I can shoot a video. I open up the box and pick up the foundation only to see that it's not the shade that I ordered. So immediately, I was, like, angry to the, the utmost of angriness. So I looked on the order sheet, and on the order sheet, they had the shade that was in the box, which was still not the shade that I ordered. So I go back and investigate and go back to my order confirmation from the 26th, and it had the shade that I picked, which was medium deep 23. So... I screenshot it or screenshot, screenshot it, whichever word, the my e original email confirmation. And then on the part where it showed my shade with your iPhone, you can like, well, you can probably do it with any phone. You can screenshot now and then like make little notes or something on the picture. So I circled in red the color that I selected in my order and even put an arrow so that they would have it and not think that I'm just making it up or whatever because at this point you have on the order form that you put in my box that I ordered medium deep 24 which I didn't so I screenshot that I took pictures of the contents in the box and I emailed them now I will say the customer service was pretty quick I immediately got an uh, email stating that they received my email and they will be getting back to me within 24 hours and I Somebody even emailed me back that night to say, we apologize, sorry for any inconvenience, I've attached, we'll expedite you, your correct shade, and we'll attach a shipping label for you to send the foundation back, the wrong shade back. Okay, so I'm not, I don't want to sound like I'm obligated to keep the foundation or whatever because they would probably want it back. But I was just thinking in terms of, Dag, we muffed up. So let's just get her her foundation. We're not even going to worry about getting the other color back, whatever. But I'm assuming because of the cost, 
of the foundation, they figured, okay, if we're going to send her out another shade, we want that shade back. So I get it. I I, kind of understood that. I didn't make a big deal about it. But of course, I was thinking like, oh, a lot of the times when something's ordered and it's wrong or they send you the wrong thing, they just immediately send back send what you initially ordered or what you were supposed to get and they don't even really ask any questions about um what they sent in its place but I mean I guess it is what it is it's to each to each his own as far as companies or whatever so I get the label printed and I didn't even think to really like examine the shipping label so today this morning i put the ship like shipping label on the box taped it in and i walked left went out from work and walked all the way to the ups store to get there and then i set the box down and the guy goes to scan it and i'm like oh shit and he was like are you shipping it to yourself so she attached a shipping label like they were shipping something to me versus the shipping label stated for me to use to ship the foundation back to them so i was annoyed because i had walked all the way from work with this box it's hot outside and that was me because i should have looked closely to the shipping label but still why did you send me something that wasn't correct here we are again where you're sending me something that's wrong so i emailed and told them the situation so the same person comes back and says she's so sorry sorry for the inconvenience here's the correct label so in my mind i'm just like is this what i have to look forward to if I order from Pat McGrath. Now, I understand it was the launch day and maybe some things can go wrong, but I'm spending a decent amount of coin with your company, so I would expect things to be in tip-top order is what I'm trying to say. And it's one thing when you use maybe like indie brands that maybe might not have like a whole bunch of manpower or people working for them but this this and that but i just figured my pat mcgrath would be pretty good and i'm not knocking her because i love her eyeshadow palettes i love her stuff but it just really disgusted me because especially when you're waiting for something and expecting it and you're excited to get it and you get it and it's wrong so i just look at it and what if i because i go out of town a lot what if i had got the package and i like didn't get a chance to open it until like way later like would they have acknowledged it would they have sent me another foundation out i don't know but it just it just bugged me and i felt like i would get on here and talk about it i'm still probably going to do a video on it because i'm still of course want to try the products out it just made me that upset and then i'm just trying to figure out like how do you change someone's order like my order was medium deep 23 i get medium deep 24 in the box and the paper says medium deep 24 which is not even what i ordered so how did you even change it to be that like i don't i don't even know but i i was disgusted i really was because i just i just wanted the foundation and i wanted it in hand and i knew it was coming and yes i could have went to the sephora and and bought it there but why do that when i can get all three items for a discounted price so i don't know but i just wanted to get on here and express my frustrations with that if you guys didn't mind but yeah that's it so look forward to a video i know plenty of people will probably have one eventually but i'm gonna try to get it done maybe tomorrow um I go out of town, so if not tomorrow, then maybe maybe like Sunday, I'll try to film and put it up. But in the meantime, another video will come up. Oh, excuse me, in between that, where I'm trying to dose of colors foundation. So look for that. Um, that'll probably be up on Friday. Maybe we can bring back Foundation Fridays, and I'll just save the Pat McGrath for next Friday, maybe. So we shall see. But anyway, thanks guys for listening to me vent and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.